You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Before the end of the current season, FIFA is expected to make an announcement on whether semi-automated offsides will be used at this year's World Cup in Qatar. The system was trialled during February's Club World Cup and further tests will take place. So how do semi-automated offsides actually work? Well, let's start with the problems that FIFA hopes it can solve. One of the most contentious areas of VAR use has been its application around offside decisions. Understandably so, because the system has been plagued with long delays and imprecise drawing of the lines used to make decisions. So semi-automated offsides would have two theoretical advantages. Firstly, they would enable decisions to be made much more quickly. Secondly, they would remove the human error within the line placement. Well, that's the hope, anyway. But how would it work? Well, the Athletics' Phil Buckingham explains. Artificial intelligence checks which attacking players are either on or offside and does so in real time. At every venue at the World Cup, there will be between 10 and 12 specialist cameras hung from the roofs of the grandstands. They will follow all 22 players and, via limb tracking technology, collect 29 data points per player 50 times a second. Then, when an offside decision comes along, image processing algorithms can provide a clear picture of events almost immediately. That, in turn, is replayed to the VAR, who is then tasked with making the final offside decision for the officials out on the pitch. Arsene Wenger, who's been FIFA's head of global football development since 2019, is a long-time advocate of the change and spoke back in April 2021 about the need to reduce the delays in the game caused by offside decisions, which he referred to as being anti-emotion. At the moment, we have situations where the players' positions have lines drawn to see if they are offside or not. The average time we have to wait for a decision is around 70 seconds, sometimes 1 minute and 20 seconds, sometimes a bit longer. But with this system, there is an automatic signal that goes to the linesman via a watch that they wear, with a red light to tell them whether it's offside or not. The World Cup doesn't begin until November 21st, and in the meantime, Pierluigi Colina, who is now chairman of FIFA's Referees Committee, is keen to dispel any false perceptions or fears over how the game might be impacted. There is not any outcome bypassing the match officials on the field of play, or off the field of play. They are involved in the decision-making process, and they are responsible for the final decision taken. It is still a tool. It's a tool available to increase accuracy and improve the time, something quicker. And that's the semi-automated bit. In this instance, the technology would be used to present players' positions relative to each other. But the match officials themselves would then be tasked with making decisions about whether a player was, for instance, interfering with play or obstructing a goalkeeper's sightline. An obvious complication is that such debates are most often the cause of controversy with supporters and typically the aspect of the decision which is liable for the long delays which match-going fans tend to find so frustrating. So, whether semi-automated offsides can make a significant difference remains to be seen, and that will presumably be a factor within the trial process. After which, a decision about the World Cup is expected before the end of the current season. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is where the Ralph Rangnick to Manchester United story broke, where a team of journalists have provided unrivalled coverage of Newcastle United's new ownership and where dedicated writers cover every Premier League team, no matter their place in the table. And you can try it free now for 30 days.